hey guys how you doing i hope you are doing well welcome to the channel this is hp mv6020 6000 series i'm going to show you how to scan document from this printer to your laptop to scan your document you need to first of all make sure the printer and laptop both are connected to the same network you download the software or hp smart app to your computer and link both together and my printer and this laptop both are linked together okay now to scan your document you need to open up the scanner okay open up the scanner and stick the document you want to scan make sure and face down so the area you want to scan need to face down to the glass scanner okay now close it now the next thing to do is you need to go to hp smart app so type hp smart app using hp smart app and once you, you need to wait for the printer to be ready and also you need to make sure you you log into your account and it will show you your name here because you need to log in to be able to scan and do so many things so by signing into your hp account you have more option to do work okay so to scan your document you can see from here once you, you look from the features select scan and when you select scan then you need to wait for the printer to be ready okay now the next thing to do is you need to select from this settings you need to select glass source as a glass scanner okay this printer it only got glass scanner if it's a printer that got glass scanner as well and also adf then you need to scroll down to select the specific one okay so so it's already picked up already glass scanner okay now then the next is advanced preset you need to sc scroll down to select document or photo or multi-item book or id card okay so we have this in the document then the next is scan area you can select a4 or scroll down to select scan entire area or letter if you scan entire area the document tend to be bigger okay so if you select scan entire area and the next is output you scroll down to select gray is black and white but i want this to be in color the next is resolution if you scroll down the maximum resolution is 1200 dpi is currently in 300 dpi then you can also select preview for you to see how the document how the document is going to look after it is scanned okay so you select preview to see the document so now we are selecting preview you see so this is the document we scan now okay and we selected preview if you're happy with it okay if you're happy with the preview the next thing to do you need to select scan so that it will scan you don't have to select preview it's not compulsory but it will just give you idea if you're happy with it okay then you go ahead and hit the scan okay you can see the document if you are not happy with it then you need to select the three dots here for you to del delete it you need to select the three dots okay for you to edit replace or delete okay now the next thing is if you want to scan more documents so open up the scanner and remove this one and stick the second document you want to scan on top of the scanner okay close it then the next thing to do you need to select on top here select add okay the same thing is applicable once you select all the features okay make sure you select scan the entire area okay output is color resolution 300 dpi then it selects and make sure it's document select scan
okay so our job now we have scanned the document you can do this as many as you like but we scan two pages okay now the next thing to do if you want to save this document you select save select save and select basic pdf compression is none and language okay you select basic, basic pdf select save so now when you select the document you can also change it that it changes to go to anywhere you want to save you can save it in download okay and type your name on it or how you want to re remember it or or the document can also save in the download section then click save I'm showing us now file your file has been saved okay now the next thing to do is this document you can print it out by selecting print then you wait for the for this to be ready okay now scroll down to select the correct printer from the list scroll down make sure you select the correct printer okay now select orientation by scrolling down or landscape and also select a4 okay now select paper size select full page now next one is select layout scroll down to select one photo per page for instance scroll down the next is borderless printing scaling paper type okay output quality and copies you can select how many copies and also output quality currently is normal so you can scroll down to select any specific information you want okay from the setting then select more settings Okay, when you select more setting, you look for the paper size, plain paper, paper source, print quality, printing color, okay, and the orientation is portrait. Now, print on both sides, scroll down to, I want us to print on both sides, yes, flip over, okay, and the next thing to do is select OK. Okay, once you select OK, then you need to, again, select print. There we go. going back inside because we selected to print on both sides this is the document we scanned and um, printed this out on double sided also I want to show you if you want to share this document then you can also go to your inbox direct and select new type the email address of the person you want to send this document to So once you type the email address of the person then select insert go on top and select insert now go to attach file browse from this computer is the next when you browse then you need to go and look where you save the document and this is the document you save and it will show you the time the document was saved click on it and select open now the document is attached you type the subject and select so type the subject as high then type the message hi and click send so now this document is sent to my inbox our job here is pretty much done if you're happy with this tutorial please do me a favor like share and subscribe it help the channel thank you very much indeed and stay blessed